The project Syrian Prayers is about a multicultural society that is about to get lost. The project is also dealing with the fact that large groups of Christians are about to leave the Middle East. It's about a decline of a certain quality within a society. A quality of pluralism that we try hard to establish in Europe. A quality that has been in the Middle East for 2,000 years. These days it's falling apart right in front of our eyes. This is the Beka Valley in Lebanon. Behind the mountains on the other side is Syria. And from Syria, millions of people have fled to the neighboring countries. Just to Lebanon, more than a million people have fled, so at the present time, around 20% of the Lebanese population are refugees. We all remember from the story about the birth of Christ, the expression when, when Quirinius was governor of Syria. But that Syria was not the same Syria as we think about today on the other side of these mountains. It was a greater Syria, consisting of Lebanon, Palestine, Syria, Jordan, parts of Iraq and Turkey. And in this great region, Many religions and uh, many sects have been living together side by side for centuries. Okay, the religious is for God and the country is for everyone. Good. Because this is a, <laughs> a slogan uh, yes. that uh, in Arab world we use. It has been and it still is a rainbow region of religions. Of course, not without conflicts, but compared to present times, like heaven. But now, this variety of religions is about to get lost in Syria, in the greater Syria. From the whole region, the Christians are moving out by hundreds of thousands every decade. The Jewish populations they have moved to Europe or they have stuck together in the state of Israel and the Muslims are fighting each other. Jesus. Yes. Okay. So how do you see how do you see the the future for the the Syriac, the Syrian Orthodox Church and the traditions here in Greater Syria because, I mean, related to the development of the conflicts here and the situation. What do you think about the future possibilities? You know, uh, we're not afraid at all. We're not scared at 
all because maybe from this day, uh, as this day, we celebrate uh, Saint Stephen uh, days. So uh, uh, we know that the Christianity and even the Syriac people are going to be punished by the others somewhere, sometimes. So it's not a new, new thing for us. And some people, they leave, as you know, to Europe or Canada, America, Australia. And some of them, they want to stay. Yeah. And this, this, this thing is the most important in how they can stay here in, this, uh, in these countries, especially Syria or Iraq. And this is the, what you said, how we will keep this thing, how to save this thing, I think. If the church and the people, the believers, are working together and they going to see a good scenario or good strategy for this thing, will will be. And uh, God, Jesus, our Lord Jesus said, "I'm with you until the all the all the life. He will not leave us." <laughs> We can love God and in a different way, not the same way every every time. Uh, we love God when we love our children. We love God when we love each other in our country in Lebanon. When I love my friend, my Christian uh, friend, and I, when I love my Sunni friend, uh, I love God. Um, we don't want the uh, Christian go from here because uh, the. The Bilat Sham or Lebanon uh, is beautiful because I see my friend Christian and I see the Tukus in church, how, how we go to God uh, from the uh, look or the, the thing of Christian and how I go to God uh, by Muslim uh, Tukus. ما كل غار في المنازل ضيق أو كل روض في السهول فسيح ما كل من سلب القلوب محمد أو كل من حمل الصليب مسيح A significant sign of uh, true spirituality and worshipping of God is music. I have searched for um, musical expression of faith uh, in different churches and mosques and done recordings of elements of uh, liturgy and prayers in this region.
recordings show a beautiful part of the world heritage that is about to get lost unless uh, the humanity does something radical to change the development in the region. Many of the hymns in this project is, are very old and uh, some of them uh, date back to the 4th century. الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وانقلني إلى درجة التوبة إليك وأعني بالبكاء على نفسي فقد أفنيت بالتسويف والآمال عمري In the project we will meet many different groups. We meet the Assyrian Church of the East, the Byzantine tradition, the Armenians, the Chaldeans, the Maronites, the Sunni Muslims and the Shia Muslims. <laughs> ذنبنا واستر إلهي عيبنا وارحم ضعفنا واجبر كسرنا يا all the others that we are going to try to get into this project. There are two of them. Karim and Jiddah. But none of them can answer it for you, Pia. So I'm excited about this. Every time you bring data, I'll give you a little bit. All his friends are like this. They have no problem with people. With the different religious, different... Very good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Beirut is a very interesting place, a conglomeration of different kinds of uh, Christian and Muslim religions.
this area to be stripped of Christ, to be emptied for Christians? My personal opinion is nobody can do that. You just can. You know, like from our country, from Iraq, when when the bishop or when fathers, you know, they they tell us like. Don't leave your country. This is Iraq. This is where Christianity started. You can't leave it and you can't go to foreign countries. Well, stop what is happening and I will stay. You know? Stop, stop this. Stop. For example, you in Norway. If somebody came into your community and started running it as they like, or your, let's say, your bishop or the person that is in charge of your, of your church that does something that you don't like or says, them, says to you like okay there are bad people in our community but don't leave stay would you would you still keep your children in that insecure community you don't know who is coming into it when there are bombing when there are kidnapping situations will you still stay